Okay ladies, so it's time for a new makeup video. This look is going to be something really affordable. So the first thing I'm going to be using to moisturize my face is the Previse Skin Type and 1-6 through six Hydro Milk Moisturizer. And to prime my face with all my foundations and makeup, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild's Coverall Primer Base. You can purchase this at any type of drugstore like Walmart, Target, CVS, Walgreens, Rite Aid, you name it. This is a really inexpensive product, so this is the first thing that I'm going to be using is the wet and wild coverall primer and this just makes a smoother base for any makeup you're going to be using the next thing I'm going to use on my eyelids is the LA girls eyeshadow primer pencil and this one is in the color nude or natural I think it is but I'll list the products below for you girls so I'm going to go ahead and apply that all over the entire portion of my lids and for the mobile loader lower lid I'm going to be using the LA girls eyeshadow primer pencil in the color white this is also another really inexpensive product and I'll list where you can get that below as well. Now for the eye look, I'm going to be using one of my older palettes which is the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Quad um, and this one here is Silent Treatment in number 335. I'm going to take that first color which I showed you which is kind of like a kind of grayish color. I'm going to put that all on the bottom portion of my lid and for a color transition I'm going to be using my LA Colors uh, contour palette in that brown just to give myself a transition color. I love this color because it's just like I said a great transition color on my lids and it just really goes well and blends in with other colors. I'm going to go ahead back into that quad which is the silent treatment by Wet n Wild and you can still get these quads or these palettes at your local drugstores. I'm going to take that darker color that did say crease and although it probably is not showing up that great, once the finished look is all put together, it'll look entirely a lot different. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in the lower portion of my crease and go back into that same color brown from the LA Colors palette and just basically spruce up that color transition. And the brush I'm using is a Sonia Kashuk brush which you can get at your local Target. And I'm just going to go ahead and take some more of that crease color and just darken it a little bit. Now into the eyelid or the brow bone color I'm going to use that basically for the inner portions of my tear ducts and that's just going to be for the top portion and just to set my brow highlight I'm going to be using the LA Colors contour palette I'm going to be using that like that matte color eggshell I basically like my brow highlights to be a little matte I really don't like too much shimmer and once I applied it I just basically take a fluffy brush and I blend it into the transition color along with my highlight color just so that way the colors do come along a lot better. Now one of my favorite eyeliners which is not something that you can find at the beauty supply store or a drugstore but they do have them at the kiosk at the mall and this is the Mica Beauty eyeliner gel in black. I really like this eyeliner a lot because it does not dry out so if you've had it for a while it's still going to be just as moist as when you first received it. I've noticed like a lot of different eyeliner gels always kind of like dry out. For my face, I'm going to be using Black Ups Cosmetics um, Full Coverage Foundation. Now this I'm using along with one of my Sedona Lace brushes. Basically all the brushes that I'm using in this video are from Sedona Lace which are really affordable. They're great dupes for any high end brush like MAC or Bobbi Brown's. They're a really great brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and use the flat buffer brush and apply that foundation to the entirety of my face. Along with that I'm going to get my Real Technique sponge out which is like one of the best. And I'm going to blot that foundation in and then I'm going to go ahead into my Mary Kay Matte Time Wise Foundation. And this color is in beige 4 and I'm going to go ahead and highlight underneath my eye area. I like to use a matte foundation for my highlight just because it's, it's all the same thing basically. You just need to get a lighter color for highlight or a darker color for contour. So you don't have to specifically go out and get highlight or contour makeup. Now this here is an older... Um, foundation stick that I have by Fashion Fair. I've had it for a couple of years and it still works really well and the color is Espresso. I'm going to go ahead and use that as my contour because it's a cream foundation and I absolutely love cream foundations when it comes to contouring and with that same Real Technique sponge we're just going to go ahead and beat my face if that's what you want to call it and just blend this contour makeup into my skin. 
as I was saying, the sponge is just fantastic. They do carry those at Walmart as well as Ulta for $5.99 and also has a sale going on to the end of the month so any real techniques brush that you buy now you can get one for free so it's a really really great deal so that is somewhat the finished look of my contouring and highlighting and now on to a little more of highlighting I'm going to be using my black ups cosmetics contour stick and this is just a lighter portion um, I normally use Mary Kay but I didn't have any more left so I'm going to be using my um, <laughs> Black Ups Cosmetic Contour Stick. It's a really good cream um, contour, so it's very blendable. And once I've used that, I'm going to go ahead in and I'm going to go and set it with the LA Colors Contour Palette as well. This is a really great setting powder as well as a highlighting powder. And for the price, it's inexpensive, but it does last for the entire day. Your makeup does not fade or crack or crease. So I do apologize about the lighting. The sun is going in and out. Now to contour my nose just a little bit, I'm just going to be using the LA Colors Contour Palette. And I'm going to use that darker brown and that kind of like matte white. And for the inner tear ducts for my lower lid, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Palette, which is in Golden Goddess. I love this palette. I've had it for years. And to top off my lashes, I'm using Wet n Wild's Max Volume Plus Mascara, which is also very, very, in, um, very, very inexpensive. The brush is smaller, but it's a really great brush for the lower lashes. I love when the brushes are that small for the lower lashes because that way there's no mistakes. You're not getting any mascara onto your skin. And to me, it's just less time consuming. Now to set my face, I'm going to be using my LA Girls Press Powder. This is a newer powder formula they just came out with and it's available on iCadeHouse.com. Most of the products and basically most of the products that I have are from iCade House, but if you cannot find them, you can always find them at your local drugstore. Just to give me some blush on my face, I am using Wet n Wild's Fergie Collection and this is Carnival, in, oh, this is, excuse me, Rose Campaign Glow as I used as a bronzer. And for my highlight, I'm using the Wet n Wild Fergie Rose, um, Campaign, Rose Champagne Glow for my highlight. This is so affordable. They do still carry this at Walgreens, and that's exactly where I got it. So I'm going to be placing it on my high points on my face. And to top off my cheeks, I'm going to be using LA Colors Mineral Blush and Spice Rum. This is like a really pretty color, and it very much so reminds me of Gingerly, Gingerly by MAC, which is, of course, a lot more pricier but as you can see I gave my cheeks a little a nice little rose glow I'm going to just spruce up my eyeshadow a little bit with some more of my wet and wild and as you can see the look did come together somewhat I'm almost done I'm just going to darken the crease area as well as use the other eyelid so really inexpensive makeup and you can basically purchase this wet and wild stuff or LA colors or LA girl stuff just basically anywhere and then for my lips, I'm using one of my favorites, which is by NYX, and this is their matte lipstick in butter. And the last one on my lips is NYC Expert Last Rouge in Sugar Plum. And we can't forget the hair, so of course, it's time to do the hair. And I decided today I would do an all blonde look. This hair is from I Am I Hair from Ally Express, which is sister company to Lily Hair Beauty, which I've done many reviews for. And of course, this is a closure, uh, closure unit full wig that I created. And you can always check out my website if you are interested in getting a custom wig or a in stock wig. And that's gone with the winwigs.webly.com. And I'll post all of that information below. So I hope you girls enjoyed the video. All the information will be listed for you guys below. And have a great day. Bye.